Hi, this is um, and I'm gonna show you how to turn on on it, make an on and off switch with glowstone. Once you press the button, it just changes to whatever block you put, and you can turn it on and off. So I'll get to showing you how to build it. Well, these are the mechanics. It's a very easy. So I'm just gonna build a one, two, three house. Get rid of this. Just make it stone. So be back once I build my house. Once you build your little hut, it doesn't matter how tall or wide it is. You would like to make a three by three hole, or maybe a, a little bit bigger. Well, something kind of like this, maybe a little more over here. Well, it doesn't matter really. Then you would like to cover it up to make it one big. Then it doesn't matter what block. I'm just going to use a wool. You would like to make something kind of like this. Then break that. I think that's a, a little too wide. So like that. And over here. And then like that. Then you like to place one torch here. One torch here, one torch here, and then make a repeater go into the, these two torches. Get a regular piston over here. First place down this, then get the, then you would like to put one block here. Break one block so you could get in. Then you would like to put a sticky piston there. Actually, that's a little too low. Here you would like to place the sticky piston. Then you would like to break that. Then you would like to place whatever block you used. I used stone, so you would like to get stone. And then put a sticky piston right there. And then a regular piston right there. You would probably like to cover up that hole. Then wherever you would like to put the button, break a block down. Darn it, I built the door on the wrong side. Then you, well, then you would like to build one there, then one there. I'll show you your house has to be four blocks high, so I'll be back once I fix that. I fixed it, and now you would like to go down as this torches, then break in, or whatever, go in. Then you would like to place a button, then go out. It doesn't matter what button. Then right next to the button, you would like to place a torch, then go back in, break the block you had the button on, place the button right there, and then break out, and then you would like to, actually you would like to place the button down, it could be button or lever, so here would be the button, and then you would put that there. Actually, the first time was right. So there, and then there. Then that. Then you would have redstone leading like that. Then you would break in, fix the button if you accidentally messed up like I did. Place it, and then... Sorry, I messed up again. You should take this away and 
that somehow stop this like over here get a button there you fixed it and then you would like to do that again get your stone and your sticky piston and then it should be fixed So, glowstone, then it should turn to stone. Just hang in there with me. There, it switches. It's just that this redstone wasn't really working. So then you break back in. then it should start switching oh yeah you would like to place a button there that's what I messed up on now it should work See, stone, and it, then you could always put it back to glowstone. So, that's how you make an on and off button with glowstone. Like that. In case you forgot, you would like a setup like this. It doesn't matter what type of block. Then you would like to do this with, you don't need the button, you might need to fix it though. So redstone, that goes off, this goes on, then redstone stops this, which stops these power, which turns these on, and then switches the blocks. So that's how you do it. Bye from the frogman.